Emily Fusen with DeKalb County 4-H. And today, I wanna share just a little bit of information about the differences between beef cattle and dairy cattle. If you did an image search online right now, one of the first things that would pop up would probably be a black and white Holstein cow. And that's kind of the first thing that people think of when they hear the word cow. That's one of the most popular breeds of cows in the United States. That is one of our dairy breeds and is one of the best milk producers that we have. In reality, there's two different types of cattle, different breeds. With beef cattle, you have breeds like Angus, Charlet, Limousine, Gelby, Harfords, Longhorns, the list goes on and on with beef cattle. There have been new and improved crossbreeds that have developed over time to produce the best product. However, with dairy cattle, there's only seven major breeds, and that's Holstein, Jersey, Guernsey, Ayrshire, Milking Shorthorn, Brown Swiss, and then there's also a Red Holstein. So as you can see, there's a big difference just with breeds. Beef cattle, to look at them, are going to look a lot bigger and bulkier than a dairy cow. If you saw a herd of dairy cows out in the field, you might think they're underfed. But in reality, it's kind of like a marathon runner. They put all of their feed, their energy, into that milk production. It's kind of like somebody with a high metabolism. They eat a lot, but they don't gain a lot of weight. However, with a beef cow, they're putting their feed into putting muscle and fat onto their bodies. So kind of like a bodybuilder or a football player. They're gaining weight to produce more meat for us. Dairy cows can produce eight to 10 gallons of milk per day. Beef cattle, on the other hand, only produce one to two gallons per day. And that's typically just for their calves that they're raising. Now, we know that female cows are the only ones that are gonna produce milk. So a lot of times our uh, young uh, male uh, Holstein or Jersey calves or dairy calves may go into the meat uh, production as well. So sometimes dairy cows do go into meat production, but they're mainly known for their uh, milk production. And of course their udders are gonna be a lot bigger than a beef cow as well. So hopefully this gives you just a little bit of information about the differences and you can understand where your food comes from. Happy Dairy Month!